And then uh, once we've got that system, we're going to start looking at some of the things that typically can go wrong. So what I hear a lot of in my business, and I, I don't know if this is the same for you, but, but quite often people will come to me and say, well, I write a lot of proposals and I work really hard at those proposals, trying to understand exactly what the customer needs. And I spend a lot of time preparing a presentation, writing it out, uh, giving them a, a good uh, quote that is great value for them. And I send that proposal away to the, the company that I'm dealing with and suddenly everything stops. And if you hear from them at all, you have to start chasing them. You have to start going back to that customer, trying to find out why that proposal hasn't been immediately accepted and the purchase order's on its way and they're ready to start uh, as soon as possible, which is probably what they told you when you met up with them in the first place. So sometimes what happens is that proposal was there for another reason. And the reason they were talking to you is they've got an existing supplier, which they're actually really happy with, and they don't want to switch at all, but they just wanted to see how much you would charge for doing something similar so they can go away and talk to their existing customer and start beating them up on price to get a price reduction for their business.